Picard season two. This is just a birthday show series, so there's no seasons. I'm stupid. Um. <laughs> anyways, it's the birthday shout out. It's the first one of the year, and it goes to my best friend, Katie Tool. Um, she's a good friend of mine. I've known her for a long time, and we're not gonna divulge that years because that's kind of personal. But I've known her for a long time. Uh, she came to one of my hockey games this year in December, and. I appreciate that. Oh shit. I lost something. <laughs> I'm dropping things. That's not good. Um, but also, uh, she supports me and everything I do. God damn it, I fixed my nose. <sighs> I'm going to keep that in just because I don't want too many bloopers in this episode. But there's your blooper within the episode. God, I hate my life sometimes when I do shit like that. Um, but yeah, I mean... Um, I thought I'd digress to, um, the topic, which is the birthday shout-out. Um, she's a good friend of mine, and I appreciate her and everything she does for me. And that's pretty much all I'm going to say, because I want to actually get to the good part of this, um, birthday shout-out. Because this year, I'm going to try something new. Every birthday shout-out, I'm going to do something entertaining for the person and for my audience. Because otherwise, you guys will not <laughs> want to watch just me saying... Happy birthday to this person because there's no content. It's just be saying happy birthday. That's kind of stupid. Anyways, I just foreshadowed it by showing it on the screen. But if you have good eyes, you would catch that right away. But it is magic trick because it's one of my hobbies. It's a fairly new hobby of mine, <laughs> to be honest. But I like magic. It's very... Um, entertaining for me and it's very entertaining to do so it's gonna do two tricks for her Katie and for my audience and here goes Ben on his rant about United Toilets great this video is gonna be fantastic anyways well back to magic um my first trick I do this a lot with everybody it's one of my favorite tricks I do basically Audience and Katie, this is your card. It is going to be the Eight of Spades. Now I'm going to lose the card in the bottom of the deck. And I'm now going to shuffle said deck. Because obviously, if I just pulled it out of my ass, that would not be a trick. I would actually need to shuffle, otherwise I'm cheating. So. What's going to happen is I am going to go through this deck one by one until I find Z card. Here we go, guys. It's not the Jack of Spades, but I do know. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Somehow I shuffled this too perfectly, and the card is. And the card is not the Seven of Hearts, obviously. It's not the Eight of Hearts. It's definitely not the Ten of Hearts. But, not the Three of Hearts, that would be stupid. Um, but I do know that her card would be the Eight of Spades. Just because I shuffled it, and also, this trick, I'm going to reveal it right now so you guys can do it at home. All you do is you force the card on someone. It's called a force. Some magicians do it, some magicians don't do it. But I like to do it because it makes my life easier. Look at the bottom card. So the bottom card here is the six of spades. So if you look at the bottom card, then what you do, you stick the card at the bottom of the deck, you shuffle it, and no matter how many times you shuffle, if you can shuffle it a million times, it doesn't effing matter. You'll find the card because that's the trick. It's the simplest trick in the book. I love doing it. But this trick's even better. Because I pre-shuffled this deck. You just guys just saw the bottom card. But that's not the trick. The trick is not to show you the bottom card. That'd be fucking stupid. That's not a trick. The trick is that I can spell anyone's name. And the card will reappear with that same card that I just said. The A of Spades. 
Now, I pre-shuffled this deck. It is a pre-shuffled deck. I did not cheat. I did not look for the card. I didn't do anything of that sort. I'm not like that. So shut the bug up. I am not cheating. So now, C, A, T, I, E. Now, if this was her card, that'd be fucking amazing. It'd be the greatest trick ever. Sadly, though, I fucked up. It's the fire for diamonds. But no, but I'm not concerned because I can do this. Here we go. Whew. Well, that was a failed snap. Hold on. All right. Whew. I got this. Whew. Now, audience, was Katie's card the eight of diamonds? Shit, no? Okay. I fucked up. All right. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Just like in fairy tales, right? Third time is charm, just like in fairy tales. Maybe the third time will be the charm. Except fairy tales are not real, so of course the card will not show up. Because fairy tales are fake, so is magic. Ha! Ooh, did I ruin the illusion? <laughs> Too bad. Um, and just to make matters worse, because I ruined the illusion, Kay's card didn't show up again. The Queen of Diamonds. Not the Queen of Diamonds, obviously. So now, guys, what I need you to do is believe that Kay's card is the next card. Just believe. Believe in magic now. Because obviously it's not the bomb card. I keep showing that as a running gag. It's not the bomb card. Obviously I'm not that stupid. But what I will do is I will magically make Kay's card jump to the top of the deck just by stabbing my fingers and it'll be at the top and I no questions asked. I, again, I did not look at the cards. I did not cheat here. Although magic is very fake. Maybe this trick will make magic seem real. Here we go. By the way, I did not set this up beforehand. I'm not that type of magician. Come on. That's childish. I do real magic. So here we go. Alright, it's at the top of the deck. You guys don't believe me? Alright. You know what? Just because you guys are being such an ass about it, I'll show you. The eight of spades, just like I said it would be. And that, folks, is called the name trick. That's what I like to call it anyways. Basically, you spell someone's name out, but you fake them out four times, maybe five times if you have the jokes for it. Basically, you need the jokes. Otherwise, if you don't have the jokes, you don't have a trick. <laughs> because this solely relies on jokes. Now, if Katie's card's at the top, that'd be fucking amazing, but it's not. It's one of my joke cards. But, <sighs> let's see if I can find it just by feeling for it. That doesn't happen because I'm not like that. That will never happen. But, what I can say is that I know the bottom card of this deck. Without even looking at it, I know. Just by using my brain. I didn't look at the bottom of the card. You guys saw the bottom card at the very start of the show. <laughs> it's a jack of clubs. I fucking know it's jack of clubs. Now it'd be amazing if it was a jack of clubs, because that'd be fucking funny. Let's see if I'm right. Seriously? Now you guys saw it. I didn't, because um, it was too far. Like, again, I flashed it like this, and I can't see that. I flashed it like this, actually. So I can't see that, obviously, because the camera's so blurry. But if you guys want to know it's Jack Clubs, I was right. My intuition wins every time. But that's just my intuition. That's not magic. Actually, I kind of looked at the bottom card before we started the show, so I already do that. So again, magic is real, but I... It's not real, but... How do I put this? It's not real, but it can be it sometimes. But... Anyways, uh, basically how to do the name trick, you have fucking put the cards in the order that you want the cards to show up. You shuffle it real quickly, and then the cards should show up in that order. And you fake them out with fake cards, otherwise the trick doesn't work because then it just doesn't fucking work. So, yeah, that's a problem. Um, but yeah, that's it for the birthday shout out and the magic show thing. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my raunchy version of magic because I like raunchy versions because otherwise it's too childish and I don't do childish on this channel. Anyways, 
time for the outro. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, shout out Thinking Bob or don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It's always appreciated and comment in the comment section down below. If you would like to share your thoughts on the birthday shout out slash magic thingy above her show slash thing I did to make it special. <laughs> but um, catch you games later in the next episode. Car rotation is there. It takes you to the previous episode of the uh, shoutouts. It will also take you to the previous. No, it'll take you to Tom's channel and stuff like that. But for now. Fist bumps all around. Well, bam. Peace out. By the way, the next card in this deck is the Jack of Diamonds. I'd be sick if I got that right. It didn't. I did it again. I don't know how I do it, but whatever. <clears throat> I looked at the card beforehand. Jeez, people. I'm not that good. Folks, do not touch that stop button until after the outro animation. Otherwise, you will not see my bloopers I put in. Thank you. a sports fan. Oh, that's not gonna work. Shit. Yeah, I've been picking my ears. It's not very good for a intro. Let's uh, redo that, shall we? Damn it. What's up, gamers? I'm your host, a sports fan, the Andre, because it's a sports fan vlog. That's not a sports fan vlog, it's a sports fan birthday shadow video, and it's episode number I don't even know. But this will be another blooper, because I can't get my shit together. Okay. That's not gonna work for me. That outro is not gonna work for me. Me rubbing my nose a bunch of times is not going to work. That's going to be a blooper for the end of the video. I got to stop with these bloopers. Get it right, Dave. Gosh, you like that. That's my outro for the uh, gaming wheels, isn't it? Sometimes I kind of wish these bloopers didn't happen by accident. I kind of wish they were on purpose and scripted. But I guess it makes it funnier that way. <laughs> Ah, uh, you gotta love when I mess up because it makes my fun. It makes my videos more fun. <laughs> I love it when I can't do my shit correctly because then I can put bloopers at the end of the video. But I also hate it because then I, I just get frustrated as hell doing this crap. Because when I mess up, it just makes me look bad, and I don't like that. Whew! I just don't like it. Um. Now. For those of you who are not into burps, disregard that. <laughs> no, for those of you that are not into magic, go fuck yourself. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, that's your thing. You could just skip it. Pretty much you can skip it. Uh, I just did for uh, something to entertain my friend and something to entertain you guys because I didn't want it to just be a birthday show. I want it to be more than that. Like I'm trying to innovate my channel every single year make it better and better because I don't want to just do the same stale shtick every birthday shout out because that will get stale quickly and no one likes a stale video anyways peace out